Hey, what's up there guys? Core here again with Gotta Be Mobile and the LG G3. And what we're going to do really quick here is show you how to change these on-screen buttons. Now, of course, with some Android smartphones, instead of, you know, dedicated buttons like the Galaxy S5, here with the LG G3, we have all on-screen navigation buttons. And unlike the Nexus 5 or Moto X or some of those where you have to do a lot of, you know, hacking to change those, LG with the G3 and a few other phones have enabled users to completely change all these buttons as they see fit in a very easy and simple manner. So if you'd like to change the on-screen buttons on your Galaxy S3, here's how to do so it's actually very easy here we have a button instantly pull down the notification bar which is kind of nice when you have a five inch screen and you don't want to have to you know reach your hand all the way up to the top there's the quick memo button to instantly take screenshots and take notes on your screen and what have you but you go ahead and pull down and tap into settings and then up at the top here you go to uh, display and right here you will see home touch buttons. Go ahead and tap there and you can change the button combination as we have. You can change them around any way you'd like, any order you'd like. You can also change the background color. You know, here we have white. You can do white gradient so it kind of, you know, kind of fades down into the colors and then black and black one here. So there's a couple different options. You might not be able to see them very well on screen. Change that back to white. I kind of prefer the uh, darker colors myself but uh, to each his own with that and then of course you can make it transparent if you'd like for you know when you're doing other things on the home screen and then you can also hide the home touch buttons to where they're gone as well and then you have to slide with three fingers up I'm not a fan of that because I don't want to have to slide and mess around a bunch to get my, my buttons to actually appear so what we're gonna do here is just go into button combination for now we have a little too many going on so if you want to go back to the stock look we just have the multitask home and back out of the box the phone actually comes lined up like that but me being a Nexus user and stock Android I prefer this to be kind of over there by that side so you can go ahead and switch that over and rotate them all around and now I have my back button back over there if you'd like to add that notification thing up drop it there and you can see it instantly appears at the bottom of the screen it's kind of nice that they enable you know such an easy and simple customization option uh, you know for those that want it so that's it it's very simple very easy you just pull it down pull it back up add to it wherever you would like and uh, then go ahead and hit home and there you have it you now have your back your home multitasking and that notification pull down shade so it's very simple very easy and very quick to customize this any way you would like go ahead and get rid of that go back change the color back to white go home and there you have it and then since I did have trans you know parent enabled it's kind of transparent when you're on the home screen but you can make it always be colored if you'd like as well so a lot of options a lot of little quick customization things that are really neat and nice about the LG G3 that not a lot of phones offer stock out of the box but that was it quick video thanks for watching